All right, I'm gonna walk through how to set up flaps with flight modes on my DX7. This should work with any of the new black transmitters, although I have confirmed you cannot do this with the DX6E, and you may not be able to do it with the DX8E, but I'm not positive on that. So I've gone ahead and made a brand new model, completely from scratch. I'm gonna go through the process of how to set up. So first thing you're gonna do, and then go all the way to your menu and go to system setup. You're gonna go to model aircraft type, sorry. And you're gonna go right here. You're gonna do one aileron and one flap. If you have flapperons, you would set it up for flapperons and both it, this setup and flapperon setup will work the same. So hit next picture, go to previous, oh, I'm sorry. So once you set that, hit back. And then when you're here, you're gonna go to flight mode setup. You're gonna turn it on, and I'm gonna assign it to the switch I'm going to use for flaps, which for me is right here. So I flip that, and it knows it's switch B. Good, three flight modes. All right, we're gonna hit back. Gonna go to trim setup, and right here, we're gonna to go to all these and we're gonna hit flight mode for these three. Hit back, hit back again. All right, now we're gonna set up flaps. Go to the menu, flap system. Gonna turn it on. Again, we're gonna choose the same switch as flaps. Flight mode three, flight mode one. So it is assigned to switch B. And now we're going to assign flaps to whatever we need. So this is all going to be dependent on your plane, but let's say position zero is up. We'll do this, you know, just whatever number, it doesn't matter. So 30% flap and we'll do this like 50% flaps or 100. It's whatever you want for your plane. And you can set your trim here just like you normally do with flaps. I'd also recommend slowing down your flaps. I like three seconds, but that's just me. So three seconds, we're gonna go back. And now I'll show you what this does. So let's say you take your plane up, you have no flaps on, but you need to trim it out. So you have that set up there and let's give it some elevator trim. So now when you deploy flaps, you'll notice it resets. So what's the benefit of that? Well, let's assume your plane is trimmed out correctly your plane is trimmed nice and good, and when you deploy flaps, let's say it pitches up pretty bad. Instead of having to mess with that in the flap setting, you can just trim it out while it's in flight. And let's say that's where it flies nice and straight. We're gonna go back to flight mode one, which is level flight. You notice the trim is set to zero here. So as soon as I deploy flaps, bam, flaps go down and the trim is adjusted per what you just uh, set. So the benefit of this I found really helps with jets using Flapperon. Because when you deploy Flapperon, you don't have a lot of uh, adjustment with that. And so you could have your Flapperon setting set up this way. So when you deploy flaps and if it rolls to the left or right, you can then trim it left or right so that when you deploy flaps, that trim is only active for that setting of the flap. And then when you go pull the flaps up, it goes back to your level trim settings. So that's the setup. That's how I like to do flaps using flight modes in combination with flaps.